What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, Kevlos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough on Mass Effect 2 here on the channel. So as usual folks, if you're going to enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like on this video as well as hit that big red subscribe button down below. Super grateful and appreciative of your support here on the channel. And that being said, let's get back into it. So, uh, alright, here we are in Mass Effect 2 and uh, if you recall, we are doing, we are just going to be going off uh, uh, our journal list for now. That's because uh, we have a couple more missions to do actually, uh, quite a lot actually, <laughs> quite a lot if I'm being honest so if you take a look at our side quests here um, we have a heck load of side quests and uh, yeah we're gonna look at all these in the next episode and the coming uh, the coming episodes or, or so but for the most part today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Samara side quest so Samara the Arda Yakshi so um, we're gonna have to go and speak to her about it she's uh, I took the liberty of uh, heading back to the Normandy if you recall we were previously on the Citadel uh, having completed some of the side quests there so here we are back in the Normandy and I took the liberty of heading down to level 3 which is where Samara at uh, Samara is I believe it's in uh, Starbot observation there we go all right so um we're gonna go and do Samara's loyalty quest in order to do that we're gonna have to speak to her real quick and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and do that I'll explain I'll explain I'll talk more about it later I am glad I joined your team it has been too long since I traveled with companions when the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Christ, 400 years. That's <laughs> I can't even fathom how long is that. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Tell me about her. She is an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. 
You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Oh, that's a bit sad. <laughs> uh, Alright, so uh, we're gonna have to go and help uh, Samara here, go and kill her daughter. So, um, Alright, so basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna head back up to um, back up to the CIC right now. So we're gonna have to head down to Omega. Um, we're, we've actually been to Omega. We've been to Omega a couple of times and uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's it's not a, it's not new waters for us. So if if you're just joining us, you might want to uh, yeah, it might be new to you. But uh, in case you are, you can probably. Uh, I want to speak with Tally. She seems very worried about something. All right, noted, Kelly. So yeah, that's actually. Uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna head to Omega and pick up. Uh, we're gonna continue uh, Samara's quest. But yeah, uh, another your loyal another loyalty quest we have is with Tally. But we're gonna stave off from that for now. That's because uh, there's actually an interesting bit. Um, for if you if you don't do that one at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'll I'll speak on that uh, later. Um, when the time when when the opportune moment arises. But uh, for now, let's just uh, head and uh, open up the galaxy map. We're gonna quickly jump ahead to Omega. Um. You might notice that the galaxy map is very very crowded uh, at the moment as you can see here yeah we have a lot of quests like i said so we're gonna be doing all of it don't worry i'll try my best to um make things quick i don't want to uh, make this series like a hundred episode series or something but uh we'll see how it goes it shouldn't be too long so um anyway we're gonna head on over to over to omega right now i'm gonna want to try to finish up a uh, samara's quest in this first episode and then um yeah we can we can we can do the other uh side quests around the galaxy in the subsequent episodes but uh, uh, for now let's just head to omega we're gonna dock on it real quick i'm gonna skip the cutscene because we've all seen it before as well so um we're just gonna head on over to i believe uh, we have to speak to aria again she's uh she's the uh, sorry up in um up in afterlife so she's the person to speak to i believe um she since we're here on omega i probably should uh, explain to you uh, well let you guys in on a couple of things as well um there's gonna be a couple of uh, side quests that uh, we can undertake here on omega um so it all involves aria as well we're gonna have to speak to her so uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna leave that for uh, le leave that bit um we're just gonna go ahead and uh do focus on some of our side quests omega is too high for me to pinpoint an ardot yakshi's location however given the reputation of ardot yakshi among the asari aria talok may have tracked her movements thank you Yep, that is precisely who we're gonna see, Arya Talok. So, uh, you might have noticed that we brought uh, Samara along. Um, that's because I'm not, I'm not very sure, but uh, I believe, um, I, I believe you need Samara along for this. I'm not very sure if uh, you could bring uh, another squad mate. I, I, I usually just bring the squad mate, uh, the corresponding squad mate, along to um, their loyalty quest. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and speak to Arya. She's up here. So yeah, like I said. Um, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Um, Alright, so this is the side quest that I was speaking about. I'm not sure if it's going to trigger. Um, regardless, let's just interact with Arya and see what she has for us. What do you need? Alright, let's ask her about Samara's daughter then. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so... 
empty as an Ardot Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. All right. So it looks like um, the person that we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I I'm out checking with her later. All right. So the person that we're looking for is in the apartments nearby. So um, you recall we were uh, around that area there, around that alleyway. So uh, on uh, we, we passed by there actually um, when we we're on Garrus's quest. So let's go ahead and uh, head over there right now, real quick. You know, one thing I want to note is that uh, I wish we could. Ex I, I wish the Mass Effect games are more open range, uh, were more free roam. Um, honestly, I really, I, I really love, uh, I, I really love the settings of these games, especially Mass Effect 2. It's one of my favorites, by the way. I really, really wish that there was a, um, a more well, a more free roam, uh, free roam game. So, by the way, if you're watching this, if you're taking notes, uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure if uh, they might uh, will consider this, but. I'd really love to see a free roam Mass Effect game, uh, a big, a bigger map, I should say. All right, so this is the apartment. Um, let's head in. Who is this lady, Diana? Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... The best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative. How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Alright, so we're gonna help this lady here. Um, well, too bad. Um... My condolences. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna help this lady here, and uh, looks like we have to examine a couple of things here in this uh, in her daughter's room. So let's start with the statue. A man from some gallery offered me four years salary. All right, what about this note? Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long, or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. All right, let's check the diary. Um, oldest entry. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. 
There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for secures, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Hm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. All right. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go, go head to the VIP section of Afterlife. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, before we go, I need to. Um, I, I I think we're gonna end the video here because we are running out of time. To be honest, we're already 20 minutes into this episode, and uh, yeah, this next bit is gonna take at least another 20 minutes, or well, probably 10 minutes or so. But I think we should be able to combine it with um, with a couple of side quests uh, that I'm planning to do around Omega. They're fast, so uh, yeah, we should be able to do both in the next episode. But um, anyway. Um, um, that's one thing I want to say. Another thing I want to say is that uh, if you want to explore this area a bit, um, if you're playing along and if you're well, if you're taking my series as a guide, uh, a, a, well, a, a follow along playthrough, um, you might want to explore all you can before you leave. That's because once you leave this spot, you can't get back in here. So if you want to speak to the lady or anything, um, be sure to do that. So um, anyway, we're not going to do that. Um, I don't believe there's anything uh, worth uh, con conversating with her. But uh, yeah, you can try yourself. You can try it out yourself if you'd like. So anyway, we're gonna head out here, um, and yeah, it basically locks up later, uh, in, when when you complete the side quest. But uh, for the most part, we're gonna end the video here, folks, because we are running out of time. You might have noticed that I was checking my phone uh, um, quite a quite quite a couple of times when I was uh, engaging in dialogue, it's because I was calculating um, to see if we have enough time to do this next bit. But apparently, we don't. So I'm gonna end the video here. So if you enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect Two. Uh, and yeah, if you want to catch uh, what we, what happens on uh, Samara's site, uh, Samara's loyalty quest, and as well as we want to catch more Mass Effect content, uh, please be sure to leave a like on this video, as well as hit that big red subscribe button down below. I'll be super grateful of your support here on the channel. So anyway, this is Kevlo signing off, and I hope to catch you people in the next one, folks. Peace. <laughs>